okay, in my last video, I found this resource for Lightburn users, but there is a slightly scaled down version for the laser GRBL people. So here's a quick video. I have loaded GRBL and I'm not going to confess I know nothing about it, but I did make sure that these downloaded files work. So what you've got here, oh, well, let's go back to the first one, power scales first. So this is slightly different for what I'm used to in Lightburn and numbers are slightly different. You guys using laser GRBL will be aware how you set your power settings. So this is making a sort of a matrix test for testing your materials. So you can alter how many rows you have, um, how many columns, I should say. Um, you can alter your minimum speed and maximum speed, your powers, your lines um, per millimeter and what you're engraving at. Um, so that's that. And if you um, click that button, it will download the file. Then you can open that in um, your software. So what else does it do? It does a cut test. So it's very straightforward. You can choose the number of columns. You can choose the number of rows. You can set your minimum speed, maximum speed and power and the number spaces. So passes, I should say. So and this is the engraving details down here. And you can change the type of object you're uh, cutting or engraving. So that is going to make that little matrix test, ship it into laser GRBL. Here's one that this was a square test. I mean, I'm not going to confess it all looks totally alien to me, uh, but you people using this will know exactly what you're doing. So I was just checking that it worked. So let me get rid of that. What else does it do? It does a curve. Now this is a good test, so very, very flexible. Um, again, maximum speed and power, the number of curves you want, the thickness that it's going through. I actually did this on the um, light burn version of this software, and yeah, it <laughs> worked really well. The circles, because our, well, because my laser beam, it says it's square, but I don't think it is. The circles aren't very, very 100% round. They're almost round, but not quite. But anyway, you can play with that. So what did I find you can play with? Number of passes is normally one. You can change the curve, um, the minimum curve that you want to play. So we're going from zero here to minus two, uh, but plus three. So you can change that to two so they're equal and you can change the curve step that it's doing i've changed this to a very fine step um you gotta have it something one would be too big um because point one is massive so i would recommend point zero five um and then you, you basically you know, these things will cut out and you see which tile will push into itself and that will tell you what curve you're laser is giving you and then you can see if the circles fit nicely so that's great and depth map so let's change that back to square squares so this is like an engraving test so you're going to be setting your engraving speeds and it's you can change the number of columns and rows to suit how big a bigger matrix you want to do your speeds here, your power, DPI, and number of passes. So what basically is going to happen is this will engrave this column at these various speeds at one pass, and then this column will do two passes at those various speeds, three, four, and five. And you can change where you want to start from. If you, so you don't want to start from here, it says minimum number of passes. If you change that to four, you'll start at four passes and go down. So yeah, once you start playing, and as I said in my other video, it's all about experimentation. You need to learn your laser power against speed and the ratios that work against what material you're engraving or burning. 
So um, yeah, it's very good. This is it's such a powerful program. This gentleman has um, uh, has made. Now that this one is a matrix. So if you want to burn a grid, um, again you can change the size of the grid to suit um, your layout. You change your maximum speed for engraving these numbers. So this is um, maximum speed for burning the lines. And this is maximum speed for engraving the numbers. You can change the interval. Normally people have 10 millimeter intervals or one centimeter. You can change the type of circles that you have. And then I'm not sure how you how flexible your firmware is so once you've shipped this grid into your laser grb l firmware whether then you can add say a square into here in, in my last review watch that I, sh I showed briefly how i added a square into these circles um so you can go up to 20 mil grid intervals so what what it doesn't do is on the light burn one you won't get a line drawn at the diameter or at the dimensions of your uh, wasteboard. All the numbers are slightly further in, so it just allows one or two mil tolerance on where your laser can reach. But yeah, very powerful. So I thought I'd show you this very briefly um, to show you the resources online. Say, so I'm not sure whether you can do it in your firmware, so your software already, but it's a very powerful um, piece of uh, web page here. And if you really like it, you can donate to uh, this guy. I assume he's a guy. I don't know. It could be a girl. Yeah. I've got some girl subscribers on my website. I'm really chuffed about that. Um, so you can donate just a cup of coffee. You know, $3 or three euros, three pound, whatever you got to spare. If it's helped you, please help him out because he has to host this somewhere. And that costs him money, no doubt, and the time it's taken him and his skill um, to make the resource. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below whether this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if it's helped you or if these facilities of this web page are not in your, uh, your software, please let me know down below so I know a little bit about what your software can do. Anyway, that's Andy saying... Continue making some safe smoke and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for making it to the end of my videos. If I've earned your respect and your trust, perhaps you would consider subscribing to my channel. It really does make a massive difference. And maybe you would like to watch some of the videos popping up on the screen now. Let me know what you think. Cheers for now.